cheap but mature printer? Sure, today's modern Core XY printers are as large and as enclosed as possible. But here, with the traditional JG Maker R1, you can watch your prints from all corners of your printing cave. What do you get for the current relatively low price, which you can find in the link below the video? You get a very decent basic printer that has most of the features you need to print well and comfortably. JG Maker is a well-known manufacturer of industrial professional printers. These guys really know what they are doing. Build volume is a decent 230 by 230 by 250 mm, which is enough for most common models. If you would like to print helmets, you need to split them into more parts. Where there is a will, there is a way. To be able to take off printed models comfortably, it's good to have a bed that is magnetic and preferably double-sided. This printer has both a PEI magnetic double-sided bed that reaches temperatures up to 100 degrees Celsius. So you really won't have adhesion issues if you follow basic rules like degreasing the bed with IPA, the isopropyl alcohol, not the beer. As far as the bed goes, you will also appreciate the auto-leveling, which works decently. It's just that our printer needed the x-axis arm leveled. For a beginner, this could be a difficult problem, but that's something to be expected with this kind of technology in this price range. Directly below the print surface, we also find a storage toolbox, in which you can hide spare nozzles or basic tools that you get with the printer. In addition to the print bed, you also need an extruder. Luckily, this printer has one and it's more than decent. It's a direct drive extruder, which means that the mechanism that moves the print filament into the print nozzle itself is in one block along with the nozzle itself. It has its advantages and disadvantages, but in this case, I think it's a very good extruder. It's very big, but it doesn't really matter. For proper cooling, there is a double-sided cooling fan, which has the advantage that you get the plastic cooled from both sides when you print the wall and therefore the resulting outside surface is the same everywhere. The nozzle itself reaches temperature of 260 degrees Celsius, which is suitable for most standard materials such as PLA, ABS, PETG or TPU. However, if you want to print ABS, I would highly recommend it enclosing the printer in an enclosure. Without it your prints with warp and peel of the bed due to the uneven surrounding temperature. Synchronized dual Z-axis are a very welcome feature when printing larger objects. They make printing more accurate. The ability to easily adjust belts is also handy. The JG Maker R1 has belt tensioners on the X and Y axis, so you can tighten the loosened belts by hand only. A nice feature. The display is also very nice. It's a touchscreen, easy to understand and contains all the important information. The interface is friendly, even for 3D printing beginners. A small drawback of this printer is the lack of Wi-Fi. You can transfer files to the printer using a USB cable or SD card which comes with the printer with some pre-sliced models. When we solved the initial minor problems, the printer printed very well. The cooling and therefore the overhangs worked great. Right. We also used the printer for several colorful prints which you could see during the video. If you don't need to print materials that need enclosure and don't mind having to print and multiples when your print helmets, the JG Maker R1 is a great printer for the money. Even much more expensive printers could learn from the JG Maker. Sure, it's not the flagship of today's trendy printer manufacturers, but it's a quality printer from a quality manufacturer. For example, if you are new to 3D printing and need a reasonable quality at a reasonable price, the JG Maker R1 is for you. But it definitely won't disappoint even professionals in the field. We have made several time-lapse videos on this printer ourselves and we are satisfied with it. A few words in conclusion. We recommend.
If you like this video, please give it a like and click on the subscribe button and see you at the next video, perhaps one of these two.